Good evening, everyone. Once more, Mazza is okay speaking. Um, sequel to my video that the video that I made yesterday where Obidaya spoke, I will play that video once more because I want this information to sink in. Now, I have received also another video of an interception that happened in the southwest, to be precise, and that happened over the last weekend, precisely on Sunday, when uh, according to the information I got, this movement was happening when the police were deployed, the police that ought to be on that road were deployed to attend the late senator that died in uh, Ijebibo uh, last weekend. You know, the senator, uh, the uh, uh, Kuruji or uh, Kashamo, you know, so he was buried over the weekend. and. Good enough, uh, the the Yorubas or the Southwest Security Network, um, in you know, were able to get these guys, and um, they were sent back. They said they were coming from Katstina. Now, you know, reviewing their video, two things are apparently clear here. One is it's likely that these are people who are running away from the Katstina state. And if they are running away from the Castina state, that means the president has failed them. That means the presidency helps no one. Okay? They have controlled the presidency two times. Castina state produced Yaradua. Castina state produced uh, uh, General Muhammad Buhari. That means Castina state and presidency helps no one. Now, the second, um, the second, uh, uh, you know, Possibility is that this is a clear case of what Mel, uh, Obidah Melafia was talking about. And that is the one I tend to believe. Because I have never, not even when the lockdown happened, I have never seen these amount of people in one day in a truck. Even today, it was on a paper. You can see that here. It's in today's paper. Here. It's in today's paper. It was published. And, you know, and all we know is that yesterday the president, uh, Muhammad Buhari, was saying that um, he is, um, um, you know, Nigerians should exercise patience with him, that they are working hard to see that the security in the country would improve. I say, you see, look at that man. Honestly, sometimes when I listen to the president, I think this man is from a different world. How can you be telling people to exercise patience, whereas people are dying every single day? People are being killed like chicken, like fowl. Now, the reason you watch this video, there are two videos you watch after this. You watch the, exactly the video of what Abidaya said and the video of the interception that happened over the weekend in the Southwest. What that for me means is the people of the South, as I called yesterday, you need to wake up. The South is the South, South, the Southwest. It is time to wake up, be at our lot. I don't think it was enough, actually, to send these people back. I believe that they would have held them and probably investigated to get to the root of this matter. Sadly, the reason why I wouldn't even trust the Nigerian police to do the investigation is it appears that they are already compromised when it comes to such issues. Watch the video and I remain Mazes, okay, because the things happening are really concerning. Small and the truth. Piece. And let me make some revelations because some of us also have our own intelligence networks. Okay. Okay. We have met with some of the bandits. We have met with some of their high commanders. One or two who have repented. They have sat down with us, not once, not twice. They told us that one of the northern governors is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. Boko Haram and the bandits are one and the same thing. They have a sophisticated network. Mm -hmm. During this lockdown, their planes were moving up and down as though there was no lockdown. Moving ammunition, moving logistics, moving money, and distributing them in different parts of the country. They are already in the south, in the rainforest of the south. They are everywhere. They told us that when they finish these rural killings, they will move to phase two. The phase two is they will go into the urban cities, going from house to house, 
killing prominent people. I can tell you, this is the game plan. By 2022, they want to start a civil war in Nigeria. Don't joke with what I'm saying. I have a PhD from Oxford University. I'm a central banker. We don't talk nonsense. So don't joke with what I'm telling you. I have this from the highest possible authority, higher possible, higher authorities of some of the commanders of the killers and Boko Haram. Yeah. Nana. 
Now, wow, this kind of people, if this group face a, com a community, the community never finish. I think I I the